hey, I heard you're trying to figure out the difference between MOA and MRAD, but you ended up on a debate on Reddit on the topic. The problem is, <laughs> it's kind of like choosing between a Ford or a Chevy. Both are gonna get you there and everyone's got an opinion on which one's better. Hunters are gonna tell you that MOA is the best option. Professional ELR and PRS shooters are gonna tell you that the best option, bar none, is MRAD. Forums are full of debate and it's easy to get lost in the math of the jargon on this topic. But here's the truth, and it's why I'm still wearing this helmet. Neither is inherently better. They're just different tools like miles versus kilometers. The real question is, what is gonna fit your shooting style, not which one is better? Now, I've shot both in ELR, on hunting trips, and out on range days. I've seen new shooters nail steel at 800 yards with both systems. It's about understanding how they work more than anything. Today, we're gonna break down what MOA and MRAD both are, how they differ, and the three key factors to pick the right one for you. Stick around, this is gonna clear up any confusion and probably start a war down in the comments section. Let's start simple, guys. MOA and MRAD are angular measurements. They're not inches or centimeters. Think of them as slices of a circle around you. MOA, or minute of angle, is 1 60th of a degree. There's 21,600 MOA in a full circle. At 100 yards, this translates to one MOA being roughly one inch or 1.047 to be exact. MRAD, milliradian, or simply mils, is 1 1,000th of a radian. There's about 17.5 MRADs to make up one degree. At 100 yards, one MRAD is 3.6 inches. At 1,000 yards, it's 36 inches. If we put it in metric, it's even cleaner. One MRAD is 10 centimeters at 100 meters or one meter at 1,000 meters. It's like the metric system of shooting. It's base 10, it's really straightforward. Guys, there's gonna be a test later, so I hope you memorized all of that. Now, why does this matter? Guys, angles stay consistent no matter the distance. If your shot's off, you're gonna adjust in either MOA or MRAD, and the math is gonna scale perfectly no matter which system you're using. There's no need to convert inches at 700 yards. It's already built into the system that you're using regardless of which one it is. Now here's where it gets practical. Your scopes, reticle, and turrets use MOA or MRAD to adjust your aim. Think of the reticle as a ruler inside of your optic. For MOA scopes, turrets are often gonna click in a quarter MOA increments. One click is gonna move your shot a quarter of an inch at 100 yards, 1.25 inches at 500 yards. Say your shot's two inches low at 100 yards. Guys, that's two MOA or eight clicks up. The reticles match with hash marks spaced in MOA so you can hold over to measure your misses directly using the reticle inside of the optic. Now with MRAD scopes, they're usually gonna click in 0.1 mil increments. One click is 0.36 inches at 100 yards or 3.6 inches at 1,000. If you're shot 7.2 inches low at 300 yards, where one MRAD equals 10.8 inches, that's uh, 0.67 MRADs or seven clicks up. I hope you're taking notes. Now, mil dot reticles have dots that are spaced one mil apart, making holdovers or ranging a breeze. So what's the catch? Always match your reticle and your turrets. An MOA scope with a mil dot reticle is gonna be a little bit like driving a car with a speedometer in miles per hour while driving in Canada where all the road signs are in kilometers per hour. You're gonna be doing math under pressure and trust me, I learned this the hard way at an ELR course in Wyoming when my spotter was making mil calls while I was shooting an MOA optic. It's not fun and you don't wanna be doing those conversions in your head. So make sure that the two systems match up. So how do MOA and MRAD stack up against each other? Well, first you've got the math. MOA uses fractions like one quarter, one half, three quarter, or full MOA clicks. At 600 yards, your dope or your data on the previous engagement might be 16.5 MOA or 66 clicks at a quarter MOA. 4.8 mils is gonna be 48 clicks at 0.1 mil adjustments on your optic. For me personally, MRAD's just cleaner and it's especially easier when you're under stress. Second, we gotta look at adjustment granularity. A quarter MOA click, which is 0.25 inches at 100 yards, is gonna be a much finer adjustment than a 0.1 mil click, which is 0.36 inches. At 700 yards, that's 1.75 inches versus two and a half inches. But in practice, most shooters can't hold that 0.75 inch difference, especially with wind, fatigue, ballistics doing weird things over long ranges. Guys, we don't live in a perfect world. 
Third, we have to look at the applications. MOA is really big with hunters. It's rooted in traditions. You're thinking inches and American rifles and MOA. MRAD is dominating in PRS though, with over 90% of competitors using it. Why are they using it? Guys, it's faster for ranging and it's faster for wind calls. For example, MRAD's one to 1,000 ratio, one mil equals one meter at 1,000 meters, makes ranging a coyote's height a snap with nothing more than your standard mil dot reticle. So now you're probably sitting here asking, Josh, which one do I pick? Well, here's your decision framework. Let's go ahead and get down. First, I want you to check with your crew. If your buddies are hunting with MOA scopes, guys, stick with MOA so you can share the dope and the calls. If you're eyeing PRS or ELR shooting, go MRAD. Most of the competitors and shooters in that space are gonna be speaking in mills and you'll avoid all of the conversion chaos going on in your head trying to get calls from them. Ask the guys you shoot with the most what they use. And in this case, I want you to follow your friends right off that cliff. Second, guys, you gotta consider your brain. If you love fraction and inches, MOA is gonna be your jam. If you prefer decimals and simplicity, MRAD is what you want. I switched to MRAD for ELR because 0.7 mils is just seven clicks. There's no mental gymnastics, and I can focus on my shooting fundamentals instead of trying to do math, which is not something I'm very good at. Next, we're gonna look at trends. MRAD's been gaining a ton of ground, even in the hunting world lately, thanks to first focal plane scopes and the cleaner math but MOA still got a strong ground game. For example, Vortex says they're still selling more MOA optics than anything else. The trends are gonna dictate what your future shooting friends might already be using. So future-proof your purchase if you're in the market for an optic right now, and make sure you're looking at the trends and your friends. Optics aren't cheap, so make sure you get this right on the first try. Now, there's no wrong choice, but whatever you do, make sure you match your reticle to your turrets. It is possible, I'm not joking, to get a mil dot reticle with MOA turrets. Avoid this for your own sanity. Also practice. Neither of these systems is gonna help you if your fundamental marksmanship abilities still need a ton of work. Get out to the range and go train. MOA versus MRAD. It's not about which one is better, it's about which one is better for you as an individual. MOA is precise, it's traditional, and it's hunter friendly. MRAD is fast, it's modern, and it's PRS and ELR ready. I want you to pick which one works best with your shooting style, your brain, and matches your gear. Then go hit the range. Tight groups are gonna come from practice. They're not gonna come from debates in the comment section of this YouTube video or the Sniper's Hide forums. They're gonna come from you getting out onto the range and practicing your fundamental marksmanship abilities and actually knowing how to use the system that you've chosen. If you're still unsure about what optic you need to go with, check out this video on optics from Randy.